सो सेल्फ किलर सो प्रभु यू शुड कंटिन्यू आई वॉन्ट टू हियर मोर एंड मोर स्वीट पास टेंस ऑफ कृष्णा इफ एनी वन नॉट डूइंग एनी थिंग शतांग प्रसंग विविध संविद नॉट हियरिंग एनी थिंग नॉट डूइंग एनी थिंग वल्ली वेर साधु आर देयर एंड हरिकथा इज गोइंग ऑन डूइंग प्रणाम टू प्लेस डूइंग प्रणाम टू ऑडियंस बीन डूइंग प्रणाम टू बक्ता स्पीकर एंड दोज हु आर मैनेजिंग ओ वल्ली बाई हियरिंग स्वीट पास टर्म्स ऑफ कृष्ण ऑल काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज विल कम एंड ऑल्सो क्या बैराग्य डिटैचमेंट डिटैचमेंट मस्ट कम एंड कृष्ण प्रेम विल कम देन श्रद्धा रति एंड भक्ति श्रद्धा साधन भक्ति भाव भक्ति एंड इन द लॉस्ट प्रेम भक्ति विल कम एंड हिज लाइफ विल बी सक्सेसफुल सो प्लीज गो ऑन टेलिंग and then sukhdev goswami again began to tell hmm, what <coughs> when krishna became 30 days age was 30 days what happened oh यो राइट नाउ अ लॉट ऑफ डिवोटीज आर लिसनिंग टू यू इन पर्सन यूर टेलिंग द बेनिफिट ऑफ हियरिंग फ्रॉम द प्योर डिवोटी सो राइट नाउ यूर बींग फिल्म एंड देन यू गो ऑन अ वेबसाइट and many more hundreds or thousands of people will be able to hear you on the internet is that is good or almost as good as hearing you in person bolle apnake direct sunle ja lab pore eta ke internet e dibe sunle sei lab ki kono and here and i'm telling them to do hari katha if they will tell anything incorrect no i mean if they <coughs> will apni ekhon bolchen sobai sunche Vedanta Swami Maharaj, Shri Gaurangabindu Swami, and also in the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru and Sanyas Guru, Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Hari Raj Gacharadas Tatar Satoshi Shimad, Shri Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, and also to all Sanyasi Gan, all Brahmachari Gan, all the bodies and Vaishnavis who have assembled here. The story of Shakata Sura. It's a story of which shows actually the opulence of Krishna. Although Krishna is in Vrindavan, so much opulence is in him that it's covered by sweetness. So this is what 
Parishi Maharaj wanted to hear from Shukadeva Goswami. This pastime shows how Krishna's small legs were so powerful. In the previous pastimes, we saw how Krishna's lips were very powerful. And in the next pastime, Trivata, shows how Krishna's hands are very powerful. So, Krishna was about, after two and a half months, about to turn on his own body, turn around, turn out, turn, turn over and raise, trying to. Then when Yashoda saw how his beautiful, her beautiful sons were about to do this, she immediately became overjoyed and she wanted to take her son and gave him a great celebration on this occasion. And on that occasion called Uttana, they bathed Krishna and she gave her breast milk. And as Krishna was beginning to sleep, she put him on the cord that she made under the cart and uh, to protect Krishna from any outside dangers. And she also to make sure that her boy would sleep carefully and without disturbance. She also lay down with him and slowly, slowly as Krishna was going into sleep, she stood up and she came out of the cart. As many Rajagopis were coming, many Brahmanas were chanting hymns in celebration of this great festival, Uttana, and also uh, professional musicians were playing. A great festival began, and Kirtans was going on, and Yashoda was taking care of all the guests who were coming one after the others. She was pleasant, doing pleasantry with ones, giving charities with others, so many gifts to Brahmanas, and there was like a very great pleasurable situation, atmosphere in Raj. Krishna felt that he was missing because the whole occasion was for his, uh, actually, his himself. So he started to cry. Why am I not involved, in, included in this festival? But crying was not sufficient because Kirtan was going on very loudly, so he couldn't be heard by Yashoda Meir. He was crying loudly, loudly, but nothing will happen. At that time, Yogamaya, knowing Krishna's desire, she inspired in Kamsa's heart the desire to send a great Asura. His name was Shakatasura, and uh, you may know Shakatasuras. He was previously the son of Iranyaksha, big demon. One day he had a body very strong, very <coughs> tall, very, very powerful. Like Madame Maharaj. <laughs> and he was so proud of his body. One day he went into the ashram of Lomaharsha Rishi and he destroyed all his gardens. Everything he destroyed just by making mischief. So Lumasha right, Rishi, he cursed him. He said, you will lo lose your body. Your body should vanish. <coughs> and then has uh, Uch Uchkat. Uchkash. His name was Uchkash. Yeah? Wow. Body was vanishing. He realized how. What many? Hmm. Uh, Go on, please. <laughs> he realized how great an offense he had committed in the Lotus Feet of Lomaharshi Rishi. So he begged for forgiveness, and Lomaharshi Rishi actually <coughs> said, Okay, that was in Satya Yuga. In Gopara Yuga, when Krishna will appear, you will be delivered by his Lotus Feet, by the touch of his Lotus Feet. So then, Shankatashura came in Vrindavan at that right time where Krishna was crying. And he was thinking, all the demons who came before me, they had bodies, physical bodies, so they, were, they could be spotted and recognized, so they were easily killed. But me, without body, nobody will uh, distinguish. So I have a chance to 
succeed in my mission. So he went directly to the cart and he was seeing all kinds of utensils on the cart, silver, puja, items, and uh, different paraphernalia in gold, and milk products, so many pots. And he thought, if I become one with the cart, like uh, Tadatnik, then the pressure of my huge body will crash, will uh, decrease, uh, will bring down the cards onto Krishna and will kill him. So Krishna at that time he saw, oh, this is Kamsa's, my maternal uncle friend, he's like my uncle. So he became very happy. And he shows, he manifests his happiness by throwing his legs in the air. And the cart was coming down slowly, slowly, so it, his legs were very short and his, his foot were like leaves and very soft also. He didn't have to take a body like Nushingadev to kill Yuranika Shipu or to make an avatar like Bamanadev to uh, cross the universe. He just threw his small legs in the air and he touched the cart. At that time, all your stencils and all and this Shakatashula flew in the air and the cart was completely dismantled. Axles and all the wheels. wheels were coming here and there in two sizes. Krishna was not actually injured and nobody was injured around. When they heard that big noise, oh everybody became very, very worried. Yashodamaya came and all her associates came and they tried to find out what happened. And they looked and they couldn't see anything. What happened? So the little boys were there and they tried to convey to Yasoda and Nanda Maharaj what happened. And they were saying, Go, 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 like that. So they thought, all oh, this cheer, cheer, child, they don't know what they're talking about. This is childish thoughts. So they discarded. And they, re they were thinking maybe this bad planet has influenced at that time the whole heavens. So we should do a sacrifice, like a ceremony. And they brought some brahmanas and cow calf and cow, and with the black tail of a cow, 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 they smeared Krishna's body all over. In this way, everything came into uh, calm again, and Krishna got to be in Mother Yashoda's laps, and circle rest again. Thank you very much. Well. The purport of this story is very, very Rasya Purna. Mysterious. Mysterious. You know, we can put so many things in cart and then bulls carrying. So anyone reading all kinds of Shastra, Mayabadi Shastra, Bhautta Shastra and all others. They, <coughs> if they had reading all, but not following in Sadachar and Bhakti, then what is this? This is like only a burden. The purport of reading and hearing all Shastra, Bhagavata and others, how to be bhakti and how we can cross endless pain of endless birth death and how Krishna bhakti will come. This is main thing, but they lose. The cart ups, go ups down, but bhakti goes away. And that person is killed like 
saptasur means they will be diverted from bhakti and krishna mane bhakti for always then another after 100 days after another happening was done ृष्णाधायेद Om Vishnu Pad Parmaham Sadri Rajak Chaja Astol Tara Sri Shri Shri Mahar Shri Bhakti Vrant Narayan Goswami Maharaj And the same again I'm to our beloved Nityananda Prabhishta Om Vishnu Pad Parmaham Sadri Rajak Chaja Astol Tara Sri Shri Shri Mahar Shri Bhakti Vrant Swami Prabhupada And all the Trinandi Sanyasi Gyan And all the Vaishnav the Bodhis of the Lord So Srila Gurudev has asked me to speak um, of the Asura Trinavrata and he has explained that 100 days later after this past time of shakata sura that we just heard that the demon trinavrata appeared in braj krishna he was approximately 1 years old and he had a desire to fly he'd seen the birds flying around and he had a desire in his heart to fly and his ichamaya shakti yoga maya she always always wanting to fulfill every desire of her lord so she allowed the demon trinavrata to come into vrindavan and krishna was sitting on the lap of his mother very happily but then he knew that trinavrata was about to appear so he didn't want to discomfort his mother by having her also taken by this whirlwind demon trinavrata so he became very very heavy like a mountain and mother yashoda was feeling what is happening to my child why is he so heavy like this but she couldn't hold him any more so she very carefully put him down but she became worried perhaps my son has been invaded by some a uh, ghost or whatever some curse because of his weight so she went and called some brahmanas to perform some sacrifice to relieve her son of this curse that she was thinking and while the brahmanas they came straight away they began to perform a purificatory sacrifice to relieve krishna of this curse that they were imagining that he had and at that time mother yashoda she was looking to vaikuntha and she was praying to lord narayan please protect my son please protect my son so we should understand all these past times of these different demons coming into vrindavan is to show also the extremity of affection that the brijabasis have for the darling lala shri krishna and all of krishna's past times that we're hearing are stirring the different um, rasas within vrindavan between krishna and the brijabasis and this is what we hear and we can drink this mood deeply by hearing these beautiful sweet pastimes so when trinavrata finally appeared krishna made himself so light previously he had been so heavy now he became so light by his aishwarya shakti he, he manifested himself as very light and trinavrata in the form of a whirlwind he came with so much dust and all the grass was uh, pulled up around and there was a huge whirlwind and mother yashoda she couldn't see at that time sand was in her eyes and all the bridge vasis became blinded and actually this is the um, teaching also of this demon trinavrata that he is uh, represented as a cloud of um, useless debate or logical argument or speculation this is the um, uh example go on but by trina brata so krishna was lifted up into the sky so light 
and he was enjoying the scenery very much with Trinavrata, hanging on to his neck. He also wanted to give his darshan to the ladies of Swarga. He also understood he should give some darshan there. So Krishna was smiling very beautifully, having a joyous ride. Meanwhile, of course, Mother Yashoda was on the ground lamenting like a cow that had lost her calf. She was completely beside herself because she couldn't find Krishna. But then after some time, Krishna decided he'd had enough. And then he became heavier than Trinavrata. And then even more heavier. And at that time, Trinavrata, he tried to pull Krishna's hands away from his neck. But Krishna strangled Trinavrata. He strangled this demon. And that demon fell like a stone onto the ground and fell on a stone slab. And miraculously, the Brijabhasis thought how Krishna was saved. Krishna was just walking around, sitting on the chest of that enormous demon. And the elderly gopis, Mother Yashoda, she was too distraught to even actually go and find him. She, she couldn't move. She was so um, in anxiety about her son. So then the elderly gopis, they found her, found Krishna, and brought him back to Mother Yashoda. At that time, Mother Yashoda was so relieved and satisfied and immediately put, her, put Krishna on uh, her lap and gave him her breast milk. So this is the pastime of Srinavrata, the whirlwind demon who came into Vrindavan. Very good. <laughs> the purport of this Trinavarta that in uh, Andhi Storm. Storm. Sandstorm. Eh? Sandstorm. 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 Sand, 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 sand storm. Sand storm. Sand storm. Sand storm. Dust of earth flies everywhere. And if it goes in eyes, then big men become like blind and doing like that. What is this? Like Sharvak in India, there was a person whose name was Sharuvak. All used to hear him very well. And he used to tell, Ridam Kritva Kritam Pive. Javad Jivet Sukham Jivet. That is meaning. <laughs> You should take lend, borrow money, borrow money, <laughs> borrow money from anyone, and buy greed, ghee, and take it. <laughs> Very testful things. But uh, you should know that. After death, you will have not to pay that money. So don't pay money for that. So you should also drink alcohol that in such a such a quantity, quantity that you should fall down on earth and dogs can Wash your mouth. <laughs> no harm. P P P P P P G bhar ke P jab nahi rahega P G ko G kon kahega P. So these are like that. More dangerous. Both the bad. Oh, world is zero. We are zero. Nothing. And in the end, we will be. Mix in zero, we will be zero. No God, no Shastra, nothing. I see nowadays, in ancient days, from India, Sankaracharya and others kicked out this Buddhism. Buddhism. And it went to Japan, Sheen, and other countries. Bangkok, other, Thailand. But not in India. I see now again in whole world by their 
যুক্তি আর্গুমেন্ট দে মেক পার্সন ব্লাইন্ড টু থিঙ্ক অ্যান্ড দে নেকলেক্ট ভক্তি সো বি শুড বি ভেরি কেয়ারফুল অলসো মায়াবাদ সর্বম খলিতম পর হোয়াট ইউ সি এভ্রিথিং ইজ ব্রহ্ম ইউ আর ব্রহ্ম মাই সেলফ ব্রহ্ম দেন হু ইজ ক্রাইম হোয়াই ক্রাইম ইফ সাফারিং কমিং ব্রহ্ম নেভার ক্রাই ফর দ্যাট হি ইজ অ্যাব অল দিস থিংস সো we should not be we should not try to follow all these things so these are trina vart the dust of so many bad religions then krishna now began to walk with baldev on ghutaru on his knees on the legs and hand on four on four দে ইউজ টু গো টু ডোর অ্যান্ড সিং এনি ওয়ান দে ইউজ টু ফলো দেম অ্যান্ড ওয়েন দে নিউ ও দিস ইজ নট মাই ফাদার আর মাদার and then at once as if fear and they began to run up to their mothers mothers used to take them in lap sometimes they used to take the tail of calf 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 and calf begins to run, run away very fast and they were holding the holding very fast and then oh that cough going here and there in gobar cow cow dung and cow urine urine and mothers clapping and other gopis and so much laughing sometimes they used to go very big big bulls and they used to hold their horn horns huh? oh what they are doing more than thinking anyhow they go used to go and take the boy sometimes playing with dog dangerous dogs huh? dog. very dangerous hmm? once krishna bal dev were playing out of his, their house there was a bush full of thrones and they saw in the midst of that thrones there is a beautiful flower then krishna and baldev especially krishna he went to to take that flower anyhow he entered he entered that inside the bush bush bush, bush. and he took the flower but in the meantime the thrones came down and there was no way to come, come out. out and then he began to be <laughs> very loud <laughs> and then mother jashoda came no what are you doing how will you enter this naughty boy <laughs> so in this way so many things <laughs> sometimes some gopi used to take the darshan of krishna and baldev one gopi being in the side of krishna and one in the side of baldev if you should wrestle we want to see and if any you will won i will give this laddu to you and other party you to tell if baldev prabhu baldev dau if wins then we will give laddu then krishna and baldev a oh, very small boy began to wrestle <laughs> and gopi clapping sometimes gopi used to tell them oh bring that 
Pidhi. Pidhi means wooden seat. But wooden sheet. And Krishna used to go and to bring, but he could not lift it up. He can lift Govardhan, but not Pidhi. Sometimes any gopi used to tell, Oh, bring this shoes of your father, Khanaun, sandal. sandal. And he used to go there and take on the head, come in. In this way, this ball, Leela, were going on. Now he became more aged. aged. Now he made so many friends, the sons of all gopis. Big party. And they used to go to steal butter now in the houses of gopis. Sometimes gopis, that you, they used to pray that Krishna should come in my house, but openly not. If Krishna going and taking butter, that then the Griha Swamini, the house for lady, house of lady, lady, used to come and, what are you doing? I'm searching my cough. Oh. Where is your cough? Oh, perhaps he has jumped in this jar. Oh, your cough will jump in this jar. How? Oh, see. And he gave his hand and brought a marble. <laughs> because Nand Baba has given him to play. Sometimes Krishna used to go and telling the son of that gopi, owner of the house, oh, go and untie the cough. Untie the cough. cough. And when cough, he used to go to his mother, cow, and then taking milk, oh, then that very boy, his son, used to tell, Oh, mother, oh, the calf is taking milk of cow. cow. And at once she used to go there, and in the meantime, the group of Krishna used to enter their houses and taking butter so much. <laughs> some eating, some giving to monkeys, some here and there. One day, one gopi, See, a red-handed cord, caught him red-handed, cord, caught him red-handed, cord, red Krishna, and took his hand in her hand. Oh, in so much early of the morning, you are coming here to to steal butter. Today I will take you to Mother Jasoda. And forcibly he took and covered that boy with any cloth. And when she went to Mother Jasoda and telling, Oh Sakhi, Oh Jasoda, see how restless your son. In so morning, in the darkness, he went to my house and was stealing butter. <laughs> then Jasoda Maya told, Oh, my son is sleeping. Yes, yes, your son is sleeping. Oh, I want to see where is my Krishna? And when he opened, oh, he saw that his own son was there. <laughs> and then Krishna running came, Oh, Mother, they always tell lie, I never <laughs> go to there. And so they accuse me, but now, from now, I will go and he still butter from there. <laughs> In this way, all the gopis used to te tell Mother Jasoda, why? Krishna going there and they become very happy, really. But Jasoda not testing all these things, enjoying to tell them, Siva. And one day what became? Jasoda Ma binded him. Oh, he is going here and there. He will be ruined. What became?
So, we have just heard from the lotus lips of Srila Gurudev how Krishna has a small child, he was very restless, very naughty, he would go from house to house performing his naughty activities and stealing butter. Actually, Supreme Lord owns everything, so he cannot steal. But on the pretext of stealing, he was immersing all the residents of Raja in the ocean of bliss. So those residents of Vrindavan, they thought, Oh, Madhi Yashoda, she does not have the opportunity to see these beautiful pastimes of stealing in her own house. So on the pretext of going to Madhi Yashoda to complain about Krishna, actually they were giving her the opportunity to relish these beautiful pastimes of Krishna. Upon hearing these so-called complaints of her sakis, Madhi Yashoda thought, why does my son go and take the butter from the houses of others? Is it that he's not satisfied by the butter in my house? Why could it be? Oh, perhaps it's because in my house the servants churn the butter. But I don't do it myself personally. If I were to churn the butter myself personally, then it would be very flavorful. More love. And Krishna would eat this, he would be satisfied, and then he would give up his stealing here and there. So think in this way. On the Diwa Diwali day, the Pavli morning, Yashoda Maya, she rose very early in the morning and she milked the best cow, Padma Ganga, whose milk is so fragrant, it smells like lotus flowers. So taking this very best milk, she made yogurt and she began to churn it and make some butter for Sri Krishna. How beautiful Madhi Yashoda was. Her waist is very narrow and her figure very full. And she was wearing very, very uh, fine sari made of silk. So fine that you can fold it over ten times and still fit it beneath your fingernail. Mm -hmm. Very fine. And her beauty was peeping out from this cloth. And she was churning the yogurt and absorbed in thoughts of her beautiful darling boy and singing his name. Govinda Dhamo Dharma Krishna must go there. Where was he? Oh, he had been sleeping in bed with his mother. When she woke up early in the morning, she took the hand of Krishna that was on her body and put it on a pillow. So Krishna sleeping, he will think his mother is still there. And she went away. In the meantime, Krishna, he woke up and was feeling around, but his mother was not there. It was shocking to him. He said, where is my mother? So he got down off the bed which was quite difficult because he's so small and the bed was high. So he slid down backwards on his belly, onto the ground, and was calling, Oh Maya, Maya! But there was no response from Madhya Shoda because she was absorbed in chanting his names and churning the yogurt. So Krishna was crying, just like a musician. Musicians sing. Sare Kama Patani Sa. So Krishna was crying, Maya! Maya, Maya, <laughs> but no reply. And he came stumbling from the bedroom, quite naked, and 
rubbing his eyes with his hands and weeping, tears coming from his eyes. One row of tears like uh, the Jamuna, because it was mixed with the Kajo. Nadir Shoda had put very thick Kajo on his eyes. And one eye, he rubbed off the Kajo, and the tears were coming white. So like Ganges, like Ganga and Jamuna, tears were flowing from Krishna's eyes and down his belly, and he came out of the room looking for his mother. How beautiful. He saw that Madhya Shoda was churning the yogurt, and he came and put one hand on the churning stick. And the, uh, with the other hand, he grabbed her veil, pulled her veil. And all of a sudden, Madhya Shoda saw, oh, my son is here. And she stopped churning and took the baby Krishna in her arms and gave him her breast milk. And as she looked upon his beautiful face, then Bhakti became Bhakti Rasa. She was absorbed in Bhakti, but taking Krishna in her arms, and she had all sattvic bars, tears flowing, hair standing on end, eight types of sattvic bars. But for Madhya Shoda, nine. Milk, Krishna has no need to suck this milk. This milk is flowing from her breast, as a sattvic bar. And Krishna was drinking milk, and Madhya Shoda was admiring his beautiful face. But just as this was going on, she saw in another part of the kitchen, there, where she had put milk on to boil, the milk was boiling, about to boil over. Why? Because the milk was thinking. Krishna, his belly is so big, it's unlimited. All the millions of universes exist inside the belly of Krishna. So his belly is unlimited. On the other hand, the breast milk of Madhya Shoda is more than Kirsagar, the ocean of milk. Because this is not milk, this is what? Vatsalya Prem. Her Vatsalya Prem is unlimited. It will never run out and Krishna's belly will never be full. So this business of drinking Madhya Shoda's milk, it will go on forever. And when will I get the chance to do some service? Hmm? I'm cow's milk. When will I get the chance to do some service? So the milk was lamenting. Alas, alas, if I have no opportunity to render loving service to Sri Krishna, there's no need to stay alive. Like Srila Narakanda Stakur, his son. Kenova achaye prana, kisuka lagiyo, naratamadasa keno, nagelomoriyo. Oh, what is the use of staying alive? If I have no inclination to do bhajan to Sri Krishna, then what happiness is there in this life? Better to die. So at once, the milk on the pretext of boiling over, was committing suicide by jumping out of the pot and into the fire. So then Maria Shoda, seeing the milk was boiling over, she put down Krishna to go and take care of the milk. So we heard yesterday how Krishna, when he was only six days old, Putana tried to put him down. Oh child, leave me. But even though she had the strength of 10,000 elephants, she could not put down Krishna. But now Maria Shoda, she wanted to put down Krishna. And Krishna was holding with both arms, both legs, and with his mouth like a monkey. And with all of his strength, he was trying to hold on. But very easily, Madhya Shoda said, Oh, Baito, sit down. Yeah. And put him down with one hand. And went to take care of the milk. So, here, Madhya Shoda, she gave up her direct service to Krishna to go and take care of someone else who was hankering to have a chance to serve Krishna. So Madhya Shoda, she's very kind and very merciful. How? Like Srila Gurudev. The sad Guru, he has no need of anything. Absorbed in the sweet pastimes of Radha and Krishna and always serving the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. But seeing the living entities of this world, how they're sad, how they're suffering, he put momentarily puts aside his direct bhajan to Radha and Krishna and goes to help them and give them a chance to do service. So Madhya Yashoda was thinking, from my breast milk, I cannot make the uh, sweet rice, I cannot make yogurt, I cannot make so many preparation that Krishna loves. So I will go and take care of this milk. She sprinkled some water on the milk and the, it stopped boiling over. In the meantime, Krishna was angry, biting his lips and stamping his feet. I was not satisfied yet. I have not finished drinking. Why did she put me down? Okay. Now I'll teach her a lesson. Hmm? So then Krishna, he took a pestle 
uh, uh, for grinding spices. In his hand, stone pestle, and he approached the big pot of yogurt that Mother Yashoda had been churning. Now, if you will break the top of the pot, nothing will happen. But he took the pestle and threw it at the bottom. Making a hole in the bottom of, the, of that vessel of yogurt, what happened? Because of pressure, the yogurt went <laughs> spraying out all across the kitchen floor. Krishna looked, oh, how beautiful. Yogurt <laughs> spraying everywhere. And he was very happy. But then the next moment, Sri Krishna thought, oh, if my mother comes and sees this, I'll be in trouble. So it's time to leave the scene of the crime. And Krishna, he left that place and went into the next room. So Madhya Yashoda, after taking care of the milk, she came back and saw that that vessel was broken, yogurt was everywhere, and she could understand, well, who could have done this? Of course, my naughty boy. Now where has he gone? So Krishna, his Supreme Lord, he's omniscient, he knows everything. But in Vrindavan, he's playing like an ordinary boy. And he couldn't he thought that he would run and hide from Madhya Yashoda. But he did not understand that it was not a good idea to walk through the yogurt. And Krishna walked through the yogurt and left the trail of yogurty footprints leading him directly to where he was going to uh, escape. So Madhya looked and saw the beautiful lotus footprints of Sri Krishna in fresh yogurt <laughs> leading to the next room. So she, she went there, she followed the footprints, opened the door and looked. And she saw Krishna had climbed on the top of a grinding water and he was reaching up and taking butter and feeding this butter to a group of monkeys and to crows as well. So Madhya Yashoda thought, oh, he's so naughty, I'll punish him. And she took a stick in her hand. Now why was Krishna feeding monkeys and feeding crows? Because in a previous incarnation as Lord Ramachandra, Lord Ram took help of so many monkeys to build a bridge going to Lanka. But at that time, staying in the forest, he had no opportunity to uh, feed them and take care of them. So now in this incarnation, Oh, that very Lord Ram, in his original form of Sri Krishna, Bala Gopal, he was taking the yogurt and feeding those monkeys. And also the crows, because they are in the, they are the descendants of Kaka Bhushandi, who also helped Lord Ram. So Krishna was happily feeding them with his back towards the door. Madhya Shoda, taking a stick in her hand, began to sneak up on Krishna. You know, cats, cats know the art of how to walk, even on dry leaves in such a way that it will not even make a rustling sound. So Madhya Shoda, with a stick in her hand, she began to walk like a cat to sneak up on Krishna from behind. But as she approached Krishna, Krishna was feeding the monkeys and crows. The, Krishna's facing this way, Madhya Shoda is behind. But the monkeys and crows are facing that way. They can see Madhya Shoda coming. So the monkeys began to run away, the crows began to fly away, and Krishna said, hey, come back. Huh? And then he realized, why are they running away? Someone's behind me. <laughs> and quickly looked around. And just as Madhya Shoda was about to grab him, he saw her and jumped down from the grinding water and ran away. So Madhya Shoda, she tried to chase him. But she's a little healthy, as they say in India. And Krishna was running in a zigzag way, hearing, so Madhya Shoda could not catch him. So then Krishna thought, Oh, he saw another door leading out into the main, uh, into the road. So Krishna thought, if I go outside, then Madhya Shoda will not come because a Vedic lady, she will not go out into a public place without putting on all uh, clothes and ornaments. So Krishna thought, I'll go outside, Mother will be shy, she will not chase me. So Krishna ran outside. Madhya Shoda came to the door, she thought, oh, shouldn't go outside. And she looked around made sure that no one was looking, and anyway she ran after Krishna. So she was running after him. Hey, come here. Who, who broke the pot of yogurt? Krishna said, oh mother, you have done it. You wear very big ankle bells, and when you got up to take care of the milk, you hit the pot, and you broke the pot. Then Mother Shah said, who was, who was feeding the monkeys? Krishna said, he who creates the monkeys, feeds the monkeys. Madhya Shoda said, Barbala, he's a very talkative boy. 
Hmm? You're a thief. You're a chore. Krishna said, I'm a chore? Hmm. I think that in my dynasty, there's no chore. Perhaps in your dynasty, there's a chore. Why? Once Krishna overheard that his parents were speaking, and in Madhya Shoda's dynasty, she has an ancestor, and his name was Chor Ghosh. So when Madhya Shoda said, you are a chore, Krishna said, there's no chore in my dynasty, maybe in your dynasty there's a chore. And Krishna, being very cheeky to his mother, again ran away. So she was chasing him, and chasing him, and just when she was getting close, she took the stick in her hand, and went as if she was about to beat him. And Krishna flings like this, oh mother, don't beat me, and put his hand up. And at once, with her left hand, she caught Krishna's right hand. And she had a stick in her right hand. And now she caught Krishna. So Lord Brahmaji, in Brahma Samhita, he said, Pantastu koti shatta sam vatsara sam pragamyo. Even yogis, munis, rishis, they meditate for thousands of years. They can fly in the sky, they can travel at the speed of the wind, at the speed of mind even. But even if they were to travel at the speed of mind for thousands of years, they could not catch, they could not touch even the tip of the toe of Govinda Dev. Yet Madhya Shoda, very easily, she caught Krishna. So her bhakti is so great that it's by this power she captured Sri Krishna. So catching his right hand in her left hand and holding a stick like this, Krishna was afraid and he began to run behind her legs so that she couldn't uh, hit him. And seeing the fear in Krishna's eyes, Madhya Shoda thought, oh, I should, I should throw away this stick. Because if I traumatize him too much, he may grow up to be maladjusted. And so she, took this, she threw the stick away. Seeing the fear in Krishna's eyes, Apana samsitingoran yanna ma vila so grinan tatasa dyogi mucheta yad bibeti swayam vayam. Fear personified, he's afraid even of the name of Krishna. But Krishna himself is afraid of Madhya Yashoda. So Madhya Yashoda thought, what should I do? If I don't punish him for his misbehavior, when he grows up, he may become a dacoit and be very misbehaved. But if I punish him, perhaps he'll run away from home. So I should, she had an idea. The grinding mortar that Krishna was standing on was his accomplice in his crime. So I should punish both of them by tying them together. Then Krishna, he won't be able to go here and there and create mischief. So she brought Krishna inside and she took a rope. And that rope she put around the waist of Krishna and she wanted to tie it. But that rope was two fingers too short. So she took another rope and tied it together and put it around Krishna, again, two fingers too short. Another rope, and another, until all the rope in the house, still, it was two fingers too short. She told her sakis, oh, bring rope from your houses. Her friends went and bought ropes from their houses also. And they tied them all together, but every time, the rope was two fingers too short. Why? It means that no one can bind Krishna to understand his Naam, Rup, Gun, or Leela, all are transcendental. But, if one will do sadhan, one will practice sadhan bhakti, hearing, chanting, remembering, under the guidance of bona fide Guru and Vaishnav, then, only then, but we'll still not be enough. Why? Because, in addition to sadhan, that is one finger, another finger is required, and that is Kripa, mercy. So we have to do our sadhan to attract the mercy of Guru and Krishna and seeing how very hard attempts, their hearts are melted and they give mercy. So Madhya Shoda, she tried again and again to bind Krishna, but it was always two fingers too short. Her face became red. She was tired. Many hours passed. She was embarrassed. She thought, he is my son. He came from my womb. He's not more intelligent than me. I can control him. If I cannot bind him, how will I look at the face of my sakis? It will be very embarrassing. So she tried again and again. And seeing his mother's hard endeavors, how she was red, how she was sweating, how she was embarrassed, Krishna's heart melted. So Shukadev Goswami said, Drishtva Parishwaramam Krishna Kripayasit Savandane. 
of seeing the hard labor of Madhya Shoda by Krishna's desire. At once, Jogamaya came there and Madhya Shoda took a rope only from her hair and with one small rope put it around Krishna's waist and tied him. And then after tying him, she went to go and do her other household chores. But in her heart, she was feeling very bad because she was in the dilemma of every parent. If I punish him, oh, it will be painful for me. If I don't punish him, he will not grow up in a good way to be a good citizen. So this will also be painful. So though she gave him punishment by tying him, she went away and she was thinking, Oh, I did not want to do this, but I had to do it. Bash. Thank you. After that part happened, Madhva Maharaj will speak. Pongabhyana timidam dhasya janam jana salakaya Chakshurun militam jena tasmai sri guravi namaha Vancha kalpataru bhascha pipasindu bhaivacha Patitanam pavanibho kusma vibho namo namaha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, I pay my humble obeisances Prasvidami Paramananda Guru Pahad Padma Om Vishnu Pahad Ashtodara Satrasya Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Silva Amangus Thami Maharaj and Om Vishnu Pahad Parivraja Kacharya Varja Ashtodara Satrasya Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Silva Narayangus Thami Maharaj I pay my obeisances and the Lotus Spirit of my spiritual grandsire Nitkarila Prasvidami Vishnu Pahad Silva Bhakti Pratyan Kesavgus Thami Maharaj and Nitkarila Prasvidami Vishnu Pahad Silva Bhakti Pratyan Kesavgus Thami Maharaj I pay my obeisances all Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis who assembled here to listen Hari Katha from Sri Guru Lotus Leaves headed by the Sannasis. So, now Mother Yasoda find Krishna. She went for household job. She is thinking, oh, why I did so? In my last age, I got a son. And how may I become so queer? I find him. But if I not do so, then he'll, your character will not be so high. I want him to be a very good boy. Then if his son is very nice, then it's pride for their parents. So mother said, if I not do so, always the neighbors complaining me. And they are complaining again. And he has, I, mean, I have started to bind him. If I could not do so, then my joke, Soki is joke with me. So some or other she bind her, him and went to her household job. When Mangal was binding Krishna, Baladev Prabhu was not there. If Baladev Prabhu is supposed to be present there, then it may not really happen. So Krishna is supreme personality Godhead. He accomplished so many tasks by only one task. Why Baladev Prabhu was not there? At that very day, it was birth consideration of Baladev Prabhu. So, Upananda Prabhu, the uncle of Krishna, they invited Baladev Prabhu and Rohini Devi to their house. So, Baladev Prabhu was not there. So, Mother Yasoda asked other Sakhas of Krishna, Oh, you will take care of Krishna. I am going. As soon as Mother Yasoda departed from that place, all Sakha became very happy. And they are teasing Krishna. Oh Kanaya, now what happened? You steal again butter? Look, which you get stealing butter, now you get your salary. And Krishna also joking with them and joking and laughing. When mother was there, all had become silent. No one is there to speak anything. Now, Krishna told, oh, let us go to out, we will play outside. What became of Baldev? Baldev was not there. I'll bring all that to you on screen. <laughs> so, Krishna told, let me pull and you can push. So by this way, we'll go outside. First, Sokas tried to untie that. Madhu Mangal came. Oh, I 
and try this. He tried, then Sri Ramakrishnan saw it, he was not able to do so. He pushed him back. Oh, I will do that. So one after another Soka came and they are pushing back each other, they could not do. In the meantime, Baladev Prabhu came and seeing Krishna became very angry, very ferocious. <laughs> Who has tried my brother? Then one Soka told <laughs> Whispering ears. As soon as he soon heard Maya, then he became completely cooled down. 100% cool down. <laughs> then Krishna is pulling and Sokas are pushing. In the meantime, Jogmaya Devi turning Krishna's mind and remind something. What? Sattavi dhatum niyabhi bhakta bhasitam. What? Krishna's bhakta tell anything. Krishna always fulfill his bhakta, so keep his bhakta's word. <coughs> Once, Narodrisi was traveling through a forest area. In that forest, there is a very nice lake, very nice water. The heavenly themselves, they are playing with the son of Nalkub, son, son of Kuber, named Nalkuber and Monikri. And Kuber was devotee and friend of, an intimate friend of Sankarji. So they are passing water each other, being completely disrupted. When Narodrisi passing through, seeing Narodrisi, the heavenly dancers, they came out from the water and covered themselves with their garment and did pranam from distance. The Nalkuvar and Nonikri, they are so much intoxicated, they are abusing the girls and abusing Narodrisi. Oh, there is no other way to go? How you came here? You came here to die? Narodrisi, oh, you are so desperate. And I said, okay. He, then he gave cast to them. Oh, you are like inert, like tree? Okay, you will be tree. So they imitated the pill. Their body became going to be inert. Their conscience is going to be covered. They understood this is not an ordinary guy. They completely pulled full flat on his lotus feet and asked forgiveness. And I was told, what I have told, told. It never be going vain. So Prabhu, please help us, how we can rescue from this? And now this is your, okay. In coming the upper yuk, Supreme Personal God had incurred in this world, and He helped you to deliver from this species. So now this is cast these two, Nalkubar and Monikri. Then Krishna remembered this, oh, I have to fulfill, I have to keep my devotees award. And why? Narasi did so because Kuber was a great devotee and friend of Mahadev. So Narasi told, I have to be, do some benefit for them, this poor guy. So Srimad Bhagavad told that Janma is Sarajya Sruta Sri Vyeda Mana Madhap Puman Noivar Hatta Vidhatun Vai Tamakinjana Gocharam. If someone has taken birth in aristocratic family, very high aristocratic family, second one, too much opulence. Third one, too much intelligent, like intellectual giant, and very handsome. The four qualities are there, very hard to do bhajan, very hard to obey Guru and Gosnav. Then they are thinking, oh, I know better than anyone, I know better than Guru Dev, I know better than Guru Parampara. So it happened for Nalkuvar and Monikri. So they became three, and that Narada Sri told, you will be the three twins tree in the courtyard of Nanda Baba. They were there. So when Krishna is pulling the grand motor, or boys are pushing, when they came there, Krishna come one end, he crossed the tree, and he stuck this way. If in long way, then can go through. But he stuck other way, side way. And he not touch the tree directly. What happened? Krishna is on one side and Sokha is behind the mortar and not connection direct with Krishna. Krishna connected with rope and mortar connected with rope. So Krishna pulled it and immediately tremendous sound came and two trees dropped down, uprooted 
other side, not long way side way. So tremendous sound. All the was became scared. What happened? Many a big demon come entered in the broth. All became very worry. They are not thinking that for their own self. They are thinking for Krishna, thinking for Nandalal, thinking for Jasuda Dulal. What happened for him? All are running toward the sound. Up to now, Krishna was very happy and joking with Sakhas and playing, no problem. In the meantime, two demigodesses came out from the tree and prayed to Krishna, did Parikrama and disappeared from that place. Sakhas has seen all these things. Hearing the sound, Nanda Baba ran towards the sound and found Krishna in bind position. He very easily untied Krishna and took him lap and then Krishna was coming. <laughs> Up to now he was not weeping at all. Now weeping so louder. When anything happened for small kids, if they are playing, they are not worried. If they saw their parents taking attention, they became with the mood to take care of parents. Taking attention of parents. It happened for Krishna. Because he being human, human being past times. So now Baladev proved to Krishna and Baladev. And the boy is telling, Baba, Baba, to 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 demi got cup 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 of tea and dig 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 pranam to Krishna. What they are telling? In broken language, how come the demigods will come from tree? A long time in our courtyard, how is this possible? The demigod will come, do pranam to Krishna, how is this possible? Don't one not believe at all. So he took Baladeva and Krishna, and Nanda has some gurdhani, means one type of brajilatu, and gave to Krishna. Krishna want to eat. But he is sobbing so much, could not eat, holding his hand, taking to his mouth, and again sobbing so much. Then this Baladev, Mandava went to Kauset, went to Jamuna, oh. hit them back. What became of Jasoda? And the other hand, Mother Jasoda, like a wooden statue. When Mandava, Jasoda was seen, he saw from distance, Mandava untied and took Krishna. Then Joshua said, Oh my goodness, if my son will be die, then how I can show my face to the whole Brajavasis? What do you think? How I become so cruel hearted? And she, thinking, thinking, became completely like inert, like gold, like wooden statue. As it is, there is no life here in her body. She could not move, could not weep, and Nandava became very angry with Mother Joshua. Take Krishna and Baladev, went to Yamuna. He gave them bath and went to cow's head. And he drink, he milked the cow, direct the face of Krishna and Baladev. For milking he needs some pot, but now Krishna and Baladev to his face, mouth became pot. And put some sugar candy and milk directly. Krishna and Baladev to full stomach of milk. Now Krishna is satisfied. And Nandava asked, Oh Kanaya, who tie you? He said, oh, Maya. Who won't tie you? Well, Baba, will you go to your mother? No. Shall I beat your mother? Yasuda was not there. So as soon as Nandava raised his hand, Krishna hold his hand. No. Why? So Naradasi told that father is, mother is much more respectable than father hundred times possible. Naradasi wrote for Radhika, the Sri Krishna Jagatan Tato, Jagan Mata Chodadhika, Mata Sataguna Banda, Sesta Puja Gariyasi. So in the same way, Mata Yasuda is hundred times also for Krishna. So how Krishna allowed Nandava to beat her, although he is not there? How he can tolerate? The Nandava will tell I beat her. Krishna could not tolerate. Hold his hand. So now Nandava returned to his drawing room with Krishna and Baladev. Now he is going to his son, going to be set. Now, Upananda, Obhinanda, Nanda, Sunanda and Nanda, they came and their wife, Tungi, Tivari, Kubala, Atula, all arrived there. The wife of Upananda Prabhu, Tungi came there and 
চল বলাদেব ও বলাদেব দাও গো এন্ড বি কৃষ্ণ হিয়ার বলাদেব প্রভু এন্ড দে আর টু পুল কৃষ্ণ বলাদেব প্রভু ইজ দা প্রিমিনেটিং ডিটি অফ অল স্ট্রেন্থ সেই নেম ইজ বলাদেব এন্ড হি ক্যান ইজিলি ডিফিট কৃষ্ণ বাট টুডে ওয়েন ইউ ওয়েন টু কৃষ্ণ এন্ড ওয়ান্ট টু ব্রেক কৃষ্ণ এন্ড কৃষ্ণ গিভ এ ভিগ ফোর্স টু হিম হোয়াট হ্যাপেন এন্ড লুকিং টুয়ার্ডস কৃষ্ণ how i think i defeat by krishna not going second time to pull him again then tung means wife of pananda prabhu told krishna will not come krishna to mm mm-hmm. means no so where will stay with baba to whom will pray dau bhaiya what will drink father will give me sugar candy and thrash me to whom you sleep Baba, so he will not come, mm-hmm. never, then Tungi told, if your mother will pass away, as soon as Krishna heard this, began to weep bitterly and spread her arms, Tungi took her, him, and put on the mother Yasuda's lap. As soon as mother Yasuda got touch of Krishna, then like a dam is there, the dam broke down, broken, the water will run so fast. very hard to check that water at the same moment in this in this circumstances now getting krishna jasoda mai sweeping so loud and so bitterly now his life came in his heart and then rohini mother cook something very quick and sat there in this circumstances shila gurudev wants told one incident our param gurudev shila bhakti pratyan keshav gosai maharaj is a very learned philosopher if someone very learned philosopher very hard for them to be a rasik but is exception for gauriya vasnavas once param guru dev came in mathura because guru dev was in charge of mathura mot then guru dev told to param guru dev o oh, guru maharaj i thought that jib gosai is very great philosopher he is not so rasik but he how he describe about krishna's this last time in gopal champu then guru dev param dev told okay you can narrate he knows everything like guru dev giving example this morning work or yesterday if any small boy is narrate some story from his maternal uncle then mother became very happy in same way when guru dev was narrating that this past times param dev became very happy when Not guru dev began to weep no when he is listening and when it came on the end that tumi to leave your mother past away then nanda baba all others weeping and hearing this param guru is so great he could not check himself he began to weep very bitterly so it is so heart melt past time of krishna but our heart is melt of uh, made of stone the mention in scripture tadasma saram hridayam vatiyam yat bhagat kichcha manai hari nama dheyai न तो जदाधिकारो नित्य जलम इट मेंशन दैट स्क्रिप्चर दैट इफ वो नॉट अटलिंग कृष्ण नेम इफ देर इज नॉट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन आवर हार्ट नो बीकार देन दैट मींस आवर हार्ट फुल ऑफ स्टोन कोविराज गोस्वामी चोल तबे जानी अपरा ताहाते प्रचुर कृष्ण नाम बीता है ना करे अंकु इफ हियरिंग कृष्ण कथा इफ देयर इज नो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन no tears coming down then have to think we have so many offenses from so many lifetime so i have served so many offenses so i am begging the all vaishnavas and vaishnavis this on the lotus feet of gurudev then please rest your costless mercy then hari hari kota my heart will melt through ear through eyes hari krishna bansha kalpata ni pasta kita sindhu thai bache sindhu nam thai bache thai bache thai bache thai bache thai bache Mother Jashoda was binding Krishna. Whole group of their houses, all gopis brought, and were tightened each other. Rope became so long and narrow, and Krishna, at west, sent twelve angul finger only. but the whole rope could not bind one even round 
two fingers come. What that he told? One, our chesta, our effort to how to have Krishna praying. Like Rupa Sanatan, like Mad Madhavendra Puri, like others. And when we will do like that, like Dhruva, he gave up eating, gave up taking water, even stop breathing. Breathing. And then what became? Narayan at once became, oh, his heart melted and he at once came. In the same way, if Krishna will see that, oh, Madhav Yasoda, like Madhav Yasoda, binding me, and he, he, he was not able to bind him, but his face was telling, very sad. And he began to pray from heart, O oh Narayan, how I will show my face to my Sakis. Please, this boy should be binded. So, seeing the parisham, effort of Mother Jasoda, he at once melted and his yoga maya at once went away and very easily by one rope of, yeah, and he was binded. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told to his associates, once a man was fell down in a, oh, yeah. down oh, in yeah. a well and began to cry, save me, save me. Other person saw, he heard, and they came and they fell some row, row under and told that, oh, you should hold up and we will take you out. But he is not taking. Not holding the then what happened? If Krishna mercy is there, but we are not taking the mercy of Krishna, not effort we are doing, then, oh, we cannot have Krishna frame. Both should be there. Our effort and the mercy of Guru and Gaurang both should be there. There are so many other things, it will take time. Marjarna, Markatna, like a cat, cats, children, very baby, they don't walk. If cat wants to take them, then she will take from my uh, their mouth and then one place to another person. He will only the the Eater. child Eater. of meow, meow, meow only do. <laughs> and she will take here, there. And monkeys, mother is there and he will jump on mother and he will hold, hold very tightly everywhere. And then she monkey will jump, jump from here to there on the other tree and they will not fall down. But if fall down, then what? Mother will never take him, that boy. So, both is needed. Only Krishna Kripa will not do. Guru Kripa will not do. We'll have to catch the mercy of Krishna. So these are two fingers. Now, Itidrik swali lab hirananda kunde, swaka samanima jantam, akha payantam, tadi e sitag ye subhakta yitatam, una prema tastang sata. So, like these beautiful, huh? sweet pastimes, huh? hearing and seeing these things, all Brajabasi became used to sink in the ocean of. Oh, this sweet pastimes. In the, this way, 
Krishna doing so many sweet pastimes. One day, a fruit seller, lady fruit seller, she heard anyhow that son of Mother Jasoda and Nanda Baba, very beautiful. And then he wanted to take the darshan. And then what began? I offer my unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Diksha Bodhidev. Nichalila Pravishta Om Vishnupad, bestowed to the Satasri Srimad, Shalabhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Shikshi Gurudev. Om Vishnu Pad, Astota Vasatasri Srimad, Shilabhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, to all of our disciple succession and all the assembled devotees. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak a few words about the Phal Vikrani, the fruit seller of Mathura. As Gurudev mentioned at the beginning of this class, Parikit Maharaj glorified Sukadeva Goswami that anyone who hears Harikata from you, you're fully realized in Krishna and you're free from all material desires. They themselves develop an intense desire for Krishna. They become free from illusory attachments to this material world. They become free from hunger, thirst, fear. Not only if one hears from you, but if one hears from anyone in your line. So we're so fortunate to be hearing these pastimes from somebody in Srila Sukadeva Goswami's line, that is Srila Gurudev, who has the same or more power than Srila Sukadeva Goswami, being the direct associate of Srimati Radhika. Similarly, when anyone in Vrindavan, like the elderly gopis, wanted to please Mother Yasoda by having her hear the pastimes of Krishna, which she was missing, so their pastime uh, discussion was very powerful. Similarly, the young gopis of Vrindavan, Sri Udav, states that their discussion of their pastime, uh, their pastime speeches, Venugit, Gopigit, etc., purifies the three worlds. So, there are people going back and forth from Vrindavan, where Krishna is performing his beautiful pastimes, where Mother Yasoda asks him to carry the plank, the seat, and he has difficulty doing it, though he can lift Govardhan. All these very beautiful pastimes, being bound, killing so many demons. There are merchants coming from Matra to Vrindavan, and hearing about these wonderful pastimes from the powerful, pure associates of Lord Krishna. And these merchants are then coming back to Matra and relating about Sri Krishna's beautiful pastimes, also with so much power. So one Falvikrani, one fruit seller, hearing the powerful pastimes of beautiful young Krishna, especially when he's about two and a half years old and being bound by Mother Yusoda, hearing from these pure devotees, she developed an intense desire to meet Krishna. So she left Matra and went to Vrindavan and in the uh, guise of selling fruits there, she actually had her only desire to meet with Krishna and get the darshan of Krishna. So she began by roaming about Vrindavan and calling out, Oh, come and take fruits from me. Take mangoes from me take other fruits from me. But she became so absorbed in her desire to meet with Krishna and overwhelmed with that desire. Instead of saying, take fruits, take mangoes, take oranges, she began to say, 
Govinda lo, Damodar lo, Madhava lo. Take Govinda, take Madhava, take Damodar. Completely lost and forgetful of her other business. She came there and she was waiting for Mother Yasoda to bring Krishna out, but it wasn't happening. So day after day she was looking and becoming more and more eager. Finally she decided, do or die. If I'm not going to get the darshan of Krishna, I'll never go back to my home. This is the um, condition for getting the darshan of Krishna. I once, in my very proud way, I asked Gurudev in his first world tour, O oh, Gurudev, when will you reveal to me my spiritual form and service to Krishna and Radha? So Gurudev said, when it is your only desire. And also I asked him another time, can we become Krishna conscious in one birth? And Gurudev said, oh yes, if you're like Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, who prays to Srimati Radhika that if I don't get your darshan in the next minute, then I'll be burnt in a great conflagration, a great forest fire or ocean fire. So she had so much desire, she was sitting there in the courtyard thinking, if I don't get the darshan of Krishna, I'm not going back to my home. So Krishna knew her desire. So seeing that she was selling fruits, he asked his mother for some grains, because in those days in the Vedic culture, there was no money exchange, but just a bartering of commodities. So Mother Yasoda filled Krishna's little, little palms with grains, and as he was running to the fruit vendor, okay, okay. he took himself the grains to the fruit vendor, and from his little fingers, in between the little fingers, all the grains were falling out. Only so by two or three. Only two or three were left, sticking to his hands. So when he reached the fruit vendor, he said, Oh, give me fruits, give me fruits. And the fruit vendor was so overwhelmed by the beauty of Krishna, that she said to him, All right, I'll give you some fruits, but only on one condition, or two conditions. You have to call me mother, and you have to sit on my lap. So Krishna saw that she was a lower class lady, and so he was thinking, if I call her mother and sit on her lap, what will people think? I am the prince, I am the son of the king. So Krishna was looking about, but very greedy for those fruits. So he was looking about to make sure no one was looking, and when he was sure the coast was clear, he jumped very quickly on her lap, said, Mother, and jumped right up. And this was all it took. She was completely gone with no external consciousness, simply lost in Krishna. So, then Krishna, she gave Krishna as much fruits as he could carry, and he had his arms very close to his chest, so that he could carry as many as he could, which wasn't many. And he ran back to Mother Yasoda. And he gave those fruits to Mother Yasoda. And Mother Yasoda began to distribute those fruits. But very interestingly enough, there was no end of the fruits. When one gives to Krishna, that prasadam becomes unlimited. Krishna is unlimited. And there's a very beautiful story that our Srila Prabhupada tells in that regard that there's one student who heard from his teacher that we're going to have a very important ceremony and everyone should bring some food from home. So the boy was very, very poor, his mother was poor, and he said, the mother said to him, I don't really have anything for you to bring to school, but if you go to the forest and ask your friend, Dina Bandhu, meaning Krishna, he'll give you something. So the boy was very innocent and was calling out, Dina Bandhu, Dina Bandhu Bhai, where are you? So because he was calling so eagerly and earnestly, Krishna appeared to him and he told Krishna what he needed and Krishna gave him a small container of yogurt which he brought the next day to school. So the teacher saw that every 